Hi, my name is Raghav and I'm currently pursuing my Masters in Computer Science and Engineering in the University of Florida. Today, I shall be talking about my project for the course Pattern Recognition. The topic of discussion for today is distinguishing between identical twins using optimized feature extraction and edge detection techniques. The presentation outline for today is as follows. Firstly, we'll start with the motivation for the project and then I shall give you a brief introduction to the project. After that, I shall talk about the system design, hybrid discrete artificial bee colony algorithm, edge detection implementation using canny edge detector and the entropy comparison techniques which have been employed in this project. Then I shall talk about the observations, results and outcomes of this project. So what is the motivation for this project? What is the need to distinguish between people based on their facial features? Positive identification of individuals has become a very basic social requirement today. In today's large complex society, the need for accurate personal authentication has become very important in many applications such as banking, business, security, etc. Even though the old methods like passwords and pins are very easy to implement, they are not completely secure. There is a high probability of it being stolen or being obtained by someone else. The introduction of biometric evaluation techniques has significantly solved the many identification problems which is present today. However, the need for more reliable identification of individuals is increasing day by day. Further, identification of people with similar facial features is one of the most challenging tasks in the field of image processing. The method employed in this project, in a sense, is very similar to the human eye and it basically tries to distinguish between people based solely on their facial features. The method proposed in this project primarily comprises of two stages. The first stage basically deals with the implementation of the hybrid discrete artificial bee colony algorithm. The hybrid discrete artificial bee colony algorithm is a robust swarm intelligence algorithm which enhances the feature extraction and selection mechanisms. The HDABC algorithm uses optimized feature extraction and selection mechanisms by the participant onlooker, scouts and employed bees. This algorithm is suitable for distinguishing between twins due to its high accuracy and its ability to exploit the infinitesimally small differences that exist between the identical twins. The second stage involves the process of morphing the images of identical twins followed by edge length computation and entropy comparison. The images of the twins are initially symmetrically divided in half, cutting across the image longitudinally. The left half of twin A and the right half of the twin to be recognized are morphed together, thereby generating a new image. The edge length of the morphed image along with the entropy of the sum of edge lengths are compared with the original edge length. If the difference obtained is negligible, the person depicted in both the images can be inferred to be the same. Else, the images are, de are depicting different people. Now, let's talk about the system design for this project. The system design for this project involves the implementation of a slightly tweaked version of the standard artificial bee colony algorithm. The minor change made to the standard artificial bee colony algorithm involves the discretization of the velocity, where the previous velocity of the employed bees are subtracted from the present velocity of the employed bees. It is then followed by the implementation of edge detection using canny edge detector and the entropy comparison technique. Initially, the foot sources are initialized between the upper limit and the lower limits. Then, the fitness of each foot source is evaluated and the employed bee space is initialized. Once the employed bee space is initialized, the position of the new foot sources are identified and the fitness of each foot source is updated. Once the updation is done, the onlooker bee space is initialized. Then, the foot sources are chosen based on their fitness and the position of each individual bee is updated. 
The velocity of each b is then obtained by subtracting the previous position from the present position. This process is repeated until the limit is reached. Once this process terminates, the discretization algorithm is used in order to find the enhanced or the optimized features. The two stages which are employed in the HDABC algorithm which is used for twin recognition is as follows. Initially, for both the training phase and the testing phase, same images are provided as input in order to determine the uniformity in the recognition rates. Once the uniformity in the recognition rates has been established, the images of twin A are provided as input for the training phase and the images of twin B are provided as input for the testing phase. During this stage, the distinguishing rate between the identical twins is determined. The edge detection process basically makes use of the canny edge detector function. So initially, the images of both twin A and twin B are fed as input to the canny edge detector function. Once the images are fed as input to the canny edge detector function, the edged images are obtained as shown in the figure. Once the edged images are obtained, the left half of twin A and the right half of twin B are morphed, thereby generating a new image. This new image basically consists of edges which are present in twin A but not in twin B. So this image basically is an indication of the edges which are present in twin A but not in twin B. But however, the edges which are present in this image cannot be quantified. Hence, the entropies of the images are calculated. The entropies of both the images are calculated as shown in the figure. Let the entropy of the image of twin A be E1 and the entropy of the image of twin B be E2. Once the entropies of both the images have been computed, if the entropy E1 is equal to the entropy E2, then the images depict the same person. However, if they are not equal to each other, the images depict different people. Now that we have seen all the methods which have been employed in this project, I shall give you a brief demo of the project. I have created a simple web interface for this project where users can upload images and get the distinguishing rate for the two images. The user is required to upload the images of two identical twins and he is required to click the start button. So I shall upload the images of two identical twins. followed by which I shall click on the start button. Once I click on the start button, the batch file starts running in the background with the MATLAB code. Since the code takes a lot of time to run, I had already run this code for the set of images that I uploaded right now, so I shall just show you the results. The results basically consist of the iteration number, the training time, the number of features which were selected, the testing time, the similarity rate and the dissimilarity rate. Here the similarity rate basically explains or basically tells you the facial features which were shared among the people depicted in the images and the dissimilarity rate is basically an indication of the originality rate of the individual depicted in the image. In this demo for the images which were uploaded the similarity rate for the identical twins was found to be 30.0533% and the dissimilarity rate was found to be 100 minus 30 which is approximately around 70%. In this way, distinguishing rate between two identical twins can be obtained. The database which was used for this image basically consists of two folders, twin A and twin B, and each of these folders consists of 30 folders each. Each folder basically consists of 13 images of twin A and twin B respectively. The images of all of these subjects are taken in different angles in order to capture the different features which are depicted in the image. Similar to the demo, the same procedure was carried out by providing twin A and twin B 
as input during the training phase and the testing phase and providing and by providing only twin a as the input during the training phase and the testing phases respectively so for identical twins the average similarity rate was found to be around 27 percent meaning the dissimilarity rate was found to be approximately 73 percent and similarly for the same person the similarity rate was found to be around 98.922 percent thereby indicating that the dissimilarity rate is approximately around 2 percent even though the accuracy is high with the patient database of adults the same cannot be said with the patient database of children hence more work needs to be done in order to make sure that the accuracy is high even with the facial database of children another area that needs to be looked into is the unification of the two stages of the project this will also result in an increased runtime and a better efficiency i would also like to extend my sincere thanks to my professor dr oliver wood dapping for guiding me and giving me valuable inputs which has played a very crucial role in the implementation of this project thus the project can identify the minute differences that exist between identical twins and produce accurate results based only on a facial image database thank you for watching my video have a good day